when it comes to working with French, I think like what really helped us kind of push the boundary and like push each other to reach new levels was seeing a belief in each other when we first met because when we first came together musically like we weren't polished we were just like this raw thing this is the perfect record for you know remy and french to do together because it has that new york bronx feel it's an effortless kind of pairing like it, it was easy Trade the four door for the coupe thing. She want them high heels, no shoe strings. Chicago floor seats, watch the Lou Dang. Crib 36 chambers, Wu Tang. She in the group, but she do the group thing. Records like this remind me of like Flatbush in like you know, being a kid in the summer, coming out the train, being mad hot, going into the store, getting a fucking icy, coming out. Somebody's out there like that you look up to or like you don't even know who they are, but they like got a crazy car and they're playing some shit. That's like what these are to me. So when we came across the sample, it's so raw, you could hear someone talking in the back. So we took it and pitched it down. It's literally a one bar loop. Like so many great songs that we love. It's just the one bar loop with all this stuff. I got that and then I wanted to do a bouncy snare. You know, I love claps. Like with these, I don't want the bass to like resonate for too long because you need like the bass to hit and then pull out. You know, so you rock like to keep you like moving. If it makes you move your neck forward along with the bop and the forward, you're good. So this is fire, but like, I can't just let that play for uh, three minutes and like call it a day. Like it needs to have dynamic and, and things moving in and out. So I probably added these hi-hats next. It sounds like that are kind of like what is familiar to our ears of the current, current wave, so to speak. And these are the things that like make it feel really modern. The next thing I wanted to do was that counterpoint that I keep talking about of that hi-hat that's in the sample. Now at this point of the beat, it's starting to get a little bit buried. So what I wanted to do was kind of just emphasize that with a shaker. I just wanted to have variation. And it was really hard to have variation with just that one sample rocking. You know, let's have like a break that comes in, just something that's gonna break it up that has totally different drums hitting. So for that part, I took a different snare, a different clap. some like EDM shit almost. So then like throughout the track, right? There's like some spicy little hits that I have just going on. In the hook section. I want there to be like little magic tricks that you don't know why you're grooving to it in that way. You ever go to like the make your own Sunday place? So like if you go to the make your own Sunday place and you just put all the shit on it, that it's trash. You gotta like sprinkle the sprinkles over this layer and then like put the gummies on the top and shit. It has to have, you know, like that vibe. You can't just like throw it all in. So that's kind of the same thing here. Like I'm not throwing shit just to throw it. It has to serve a purpose for me. A lot of times I'll go through and make a loop and then be like, yo, let me like go through every sound and make sure like they really need to be there. Cause sometimes it's what you take out of the beat that makes it amazing. I had this like little Korg synth at the studio and I pulled this patch. 
that's not really a sound that you hear, but it kind of comes in and out to kind of like build up the horn and then kind of like pull out a little bit of the horn. So like, okay, at that point, I'm like, let me filter the sample out. I like to leave like the distortion and everything that the, the filter and plugin creates just to like texturally change what's going on. So then I'm like, cool, I have the breakdown and I had to add the air raid. You gotta be lawless with this shit. You put boundaries on yourself, you're gonna fuck it up. If you don't have boundaries, it's like whatever you create, it sits on its own. It's 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 its own thing. It's it's this thing that you made purely. La música de Harry To me, in my mind, this is what I hear. If I if I say French Montana Remy, this is like yeah, like what I said before of like trying to give them the best thing that I could give them. I really feel like I did that. <laughs> Like 